Du har hævet op en tærme, så er det godt. Det er bare godt rejt. Har du støttet den op fra min dæren? Det ved jeg ikke. Out there dictates your choice of swim. So number one goes first, two seconds, so on. Um, write it down when we pick your swim. Good luck. Um, we'll have barbecue tomorrow, four-ish, eating around five, depending on the weather, we might have to change that. Um, any photos, video, please send them to me or Paul. Chris at Rinia really wants any catch reports, so really interested to hear what's caught. There's a trophy for the biggest tench caught this weekend. Um, it met, that's the entire weekend. There are two vouchers for Ace Tackle in Kidlington, which is local, which is not going to help anybody's travel unless they come again. There's a £15 voucher for the most tench caught um, for, for the barbecue tomorrow. And there's a £10 voucher for the biggest non tench caught. Now, I will use my judgment if someone's got a two pound roach or a twenty pound carp. It's not two pound roach. roach. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but if you get a two yeah, pound roach or a four pound roach, yeah. yeah, we'll use the judgment. So yeah, um, no lying. I trust that your honourable men being tench fishers. Um, any questions? Hang on a minute. Me out. Put it in your pocket. <laughs> I don't need it. <laughs> Down in Quinley Drafty Corner, there it is. Two. Thirty-seven. This is all go. <laughs> 30, 30, 30, 30, <coughs> uh, what number's next? That's one, two, three, four. Module. So it's about uh, 3.30 on the uh, first day and there's been a few fish caught, there's been a couple of carp, 
uh, and there's been one tench. Um, I lost a decent carp at range about, I don't know, 20 past 11, half past 11, something like that this morning in torrential rain, so I got absolutely soaking wet, only to lose the fish. But uh, yeah, I've got three rods in, a couple short, both on the uh, worm heli rigs, and uh, the longer line at, at 15 wraps, so what's that, 60 yards, I think? And that's the one I got got the, uh, the bite from the carp on, and uh, that's on popped up maggots. But uh, you know, the, the weather's uh, looks a little bit drier now. I think we're not going to get rain again until tomorrow morning, hopefully. And it feels fishy, you know. So, uh, but a few fish caught, lost fish. So it's uh, you know, there's confidence, which is great. And I think everyone I've spoken to so far feels like you know we should get a few fish. So fingers crossed. There's a lot of fish showing uh, this morning when it was raining, when we arrived, sort of, I don't know, from sort of between sort of eight and uh, 11, there was quite a lot of activity out here. And uh, one of the reasons I chose this peg was because there were fish showing um, when we were having a look around before we picked the pegs. Um, I know the guys in the far, in the far corner, uh, where the wind's blowing into it, they've, uh, They've got fish showing quite quite frequently, I think, and that's where one of the tench and one of the carps come from down that down that end. Um, but the wind's been blowing in that corner for you know pretty much a week, so it's not like it's a new wind. So uh, you know, hopefully the fish will be moving around a bit, and uh, they'll uh, drop on the bait at some point. Two weeks later. That will do. Very well done. Kev's just got himself a two pound roach. <clears throat> Lovely job. Well done, buddy. That's awesome. Oh, he's the hats off. off fish. It's, it's a hats off fish, that yeah, is. So, this is, it looks so small and picture wise, isn't it? Awesome fish, mate. <laughs> Give me the money. <laughs> <laughs> Morning all. It's uh, just gone four in the morning and I've just been rudely woken by a carp. So it's a nuisance, nuisance species really. 
inevitable fishing oxleys, I guess. There it is. It's uh, 20 pounds, 15 ounces. Put up quite the fight on the tench gear, I can tell you. Let's get it back. So it's uh, a Saturday morning now, and as you would have seen, I was uh, rudely awoken just before my four o'clock alarm clock went off with that carp uh, that was caught on a Scopex, Scopex Squid Boily, 12mm Scopex Squid Boily. I've put some uh, Boilies, 12mm Boilies, Scopex Squid and Ester Fruit in my Spawn mix just to give me an extra bait option, especially through the night. And that's exactly what happened. Um, but uh, yeah, it's, uh, there's a lot more action and activity now. You can see, probably see on the, on the uh, footage there's a lot of fish showing, a lot of carp showing. And uh, I have seen a couple of tench in the swim uh, this morning. And there's been a couple of tench caught by Ben and Dave, I believe, up the, uh, at the far end and up in the corner. So. Uh, just put a bit more bait out and hopefully the tench are going to turn up in front of me and start feeding properly because it'd be nice to catch a tench. Lovely morning mate. You can look at the camera, you ain't got a yeah, <laughs> nice, yeah, go. that's brilliant. That is well, well done, Paul. Be nice to uh, get a tench though, wouldn't it? Yeah, oh, that's what we're for. Yeah, so it just airdrops it and then you can just do what you want with it off yeah. the You know, like if you've got the um, I was telling Paul about everything on the um, on my. I think it's called So it's now about uh, 2.30 on the uh, Saturday afternoon and quite frankly it's been dead since mid-morning. I don't think there's been any uh, reported catches from the fishing uh, since the morning and uh, you know the weather's just getting worse and worse. Typically as the barbecue is uh, looming, I mean I've personally I've just been plagued by these coots just diving down on the spot and uh, picking up my hook baits and uh, feeding off all the uh, freebies that I've been putting in. Uh, so actually I'm thinking about um, when I recast next time, I think I'm going to try uh, a spot further out that I found yesterday when I was looking around.
see um, Michael uh, Zog, a uh, boy, <laughs> <laughs> boy <laughs> that was good. <laughs> you didn't get I think we've got some dragon dancing yeah. Yeah. across the stage. Yeah. 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 It could be worse. That was my favourite. We should all be right, everybody just go fishing okay. <laughs> So, obviously I have a few things to present. I'm going to do the best one last because the first one is not tent related. So, the booby prize hmm. for the biggest car for the weekend. It's Mr. Paul. Thank you. Oh, well, <laughs> 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 so you can put your secret sauce on your hook face. <laughs> that is pucker. Yeah, isn't it? Get it on the geezer ring. Get on the geezer ring. It's really good because it's got a seal with a trophy. Well, I don't know actually. I haven't heard her for a while. I'm sure that will take pride of place. It will if I can get it in now. That's come all the way from China. Um, Superb. <laughs> you may keep that for everyone a day. The vouchers I mentioned earlier will be awarded tomorrow morning because at the moment anybody can still be in it, so keep it exciting. Um, Phil, if Dave or if doesn't catch another one or anybody catches more, I'll split it and send you a fiver because you're tying with him at the moment. Um, it's like it needs you more than me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, hopefully they'll play ball again and we'll have a few tonight and tomorrow. But. Yeah, it is now. Alan, Alan right, touch it. Get that. It's the behind you. Just copying what the carpers do, isn't it? When they get it. Oh, oh no. no, he's lost it. I was moving. It came out. It came out. Yeah, I put too much pressure on it. I think. Wah 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 wah. Oh, he's got a pike. I told you it was small. This is what happened on Manor. I had a King of the pike. I had one of those on, on Dorchester the other day as well. They love the worm, don't they? I might have a pike fishing on me. I was thinking of it. 
Ben's knockings. Ben's just taken uh, the wrap off his bivvy, packing away. And he's into another one. Not long ago, put back a little pike that Ben had on the worms. Do you want me to move that rod or you, do, I think, you think you're all right? Yeah, maybe four, that's all right. Yeah. Well done. There we go. Flung it out itself. Awesome. Right. Oh. 6.14. Well done, Ben. Thank you very Thanks much. Thanks for the session. Oh, on, the pack, on the pack down. Yeah. Well done. Like I say, last knock-ins. Well done, Ben, that's Sorry. excellent. Quite a short fish, I think, but certainly stocky. Nice Oxfordshire tench. Yeah, right at the end of the day as well, brilliant.